everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i will be sharing with you on how to find an equation of the tangent line to the hyperbola y equal 3 over x at the point 3 and 1 but just before we get started i want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel like the video share the link with your friends and also click on the notification bell thank you very much for your support all right let's get started all right this question says find an equation of the tangent line to the hyperbola y equal 3 over x at the point 3 and 1. now to solve this problem first we need to find the slope of the tangent line at point 3 and 1 and the formula for finding the slope is m slope m is equal to limit as h approaches zero f of x plus h minus f of x over h so this is the formula for finding the slope of the tangent line at point three and one at this point at this point so now from the question we have y is equals to three over x so we can simply write this as f of x is equals to 3 over x and f of x plus h is equals to 3 over x plus h now at point three and one at point three one x is equal to three so we can simply plug this value into f of x now f of x automatically becomes f of three equals to 3 over 3 and that is equals to 1 and f of 3 plus h is equals to 3 over 3 plus h so now we can simply plug these values we can plug this and this into the slope formula as you can see here m is equal to limit as h approaches zero f of x plus h minus f of x over h okay so now let's plug this into this um, formula and we now have the slope m is equal to limit as h approaches zero, um, f of x plus h minus f of x over h is now equal to limit as h approaches zero, f of three plus h minus f of 3 over h now recall that f of 3 gave us 1 as you can see f of 3 is equals to 1 and f of 3 plus h is equals to 3 over 3 plus h 
so this would be equals to limit as h approaches zero three over three plus h minus one over h so now let's focus on the numerator let's focus on this numerator all we have to do now is to get the common denominator so see this one as one over one see this as one over one so the common denominator automatically becomes three plus h so this become equals limit as h approaches zero then i have three minus uh three plus h times one will give you three plus h over three plus h all over h i hope this makes some sense all right so now this is also equals to limit as h approaches zero we now have three minus three plus h over three plus h we can simply put the whole of this in a parenthesis which is the numerator and now divide by h divided by h and this is like h over one so this will become limit as h approaches zero we now have three uh, we can clear the parentheses so we now have three minus three minus h over three plus h okay so let's change this vicious sign let's change this vicious sign to multiplication and times one over h so once you change the division sign to multiplication you need to switch one up and then switch h down and that is why you have one over h over here right here so now three minus three is zero so we can simply strike this from here and now we have uh limits as h approaches zero we now have negative h over now this h over here will multiply this so we can simply write this as h times three plus h okay so now we can now cancel out this h we cancel this from here because h divided by h will give us one so we have negative one as the numerator so this will become limit as h approaches zero we now have negative one over three plus h now limit as h limit as h approaches zero we now have negative one over three plus zero so we can now substitute zero for h and automatically this will be equals to negative one third so this is the slope the slope is equals to negative one third now we have found the slope all we have to do now is to use the slope intercept form y minus y1 equals to uh, m open parenthesis x minus x1 now recall recall that 3.3 and 1 
is equals to x1 y1 so we can simply plug this value 3 and 1 into this so this will become y minus 1 is equals to remember m is the slope and that is negative 1 third negative 1 third x minus x1 x1 is 3 good so now let's clear the parentheses so this will become y minus 1 is equals negative one third times x, which is negative uh, one third x and negative one third times negative three will simply give us positive um, positive one positive one. So now we can um, subtract one from both sides. Let's subtract one from both sides. So this will become y minus one minus one is equals negative one third x plus one minus one. Now, this we simply cancel this from here, and we now have y minus two is equals negative one third x. We can also subtract negative one. Um, we can add negative one third x to both sides, and this will become. Let's add that to both sides. Uh, okay, so this will become a negative. We are adding negative. We already have negative one third here. So the only way to get rid of negative one third x from the right side is to add, add it to both sides. So we can see plus. Uh, let's simply write it. Yeah, so this will become one third x plus y minus two is equal to negative one third x plus one third x. So this will simply give you zero. And now we have one third x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this fraction can be made to become a whole number. One third can be made to become a whole number by, by multiplying each term by 3. So now multiply. Each term. by 3. So this will become 3 times 1 third x plus 3 times y minus 2 times 3 is equals 0 times 3. So 3, of course, we cancel 3 from here. And now we have x plus 3y, negative 2 times 3 will give us negative 6. Negative 6 is equal to 0 times 3 is 0. So this is the equation of the tangent line to the hyperbola 3 over x at point 3 and one. So I hope this makes some sense. Please, if you find this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like the video, share the link with your friends, and also click on the notification bell. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye-bye.